Hi, I'm Mary Catherine, and welcome to my table. Normally, I do cooking videos, and thank you so much to all of you who follow along. Hopefully, some new people will jump on board, too. But today, I want to twist a little bit and do something slightly different. I want to talk about the kitchen. I mean, the kitchen is where we do our cooking, and so I want to talk about some hacks in your kitchen, how to maybe better organize it a little bit. And the reason that we're going to do this is I'm so excited because today is the day you can finally register for the Get Organized HQ. And this is going to be a wonderful week that takes place in September where you will have access to a week long of different organizers, different people who can help you with different things around your home, organizing kitchen, cleaning your house, how to organize your planner, how to organize digital things, how to have freezer meals prepped, all kinds of things that you'll be able to have some help with that week. And so I hope you'll jump on board and join us for the Get Organized HQ. And here's the link where you can jump on board and get your free ticket to join us at the Get Organized HQ. Okay, so let's talk about my kitchen a little bit today. Um, I'm going to fix a few dishes for my session that's going to go on in the summit that comes up in September. But right now, I want to talk a little bit about how I organize my kitchen. And I'm going to show you a few things that I don't normally show you on the videos. First of all, just the biggest help, I think, with your kitchen is to just stop and think about your workstations. Where are you going to be doing certain tasks? And then organize your kitchen around those tasks. And I'll show you what I mean. Um, first of all, okay, here, we'll just stop right here. Here's your stove and your oven. You're going to be doing a lot of cooking here. So what I do, I'm going to show you my cabinet, and it's not completely organized. So just know that I need this help too in September, and I'm looking forward to having some motivation to organize things a little bit better. But I've got, you know, things that I need for cooking, my oils and, and just different sauces that I might need to grab in a hurry and have right here by the stove. So that's one thing that I do. Another thing, if you have enough drawer space, okay, this would be my number one tip in the kitchen. If you have enough drawer space, have a spice drawer. Don't have a spice cabinet. Don't have other things like that. If it works for you, that's okay. But I have a spice drawer and it's a large drawer and I use all of these things, but it lays them out just so quickly where you can see what you need easily and grab it and use it. And so that would be my number one tip. If you have a drawer you can use for this, have a spice drawer. And as you can see, I didn't buy any special bottles. I didn't put any special labels on them. I'm simply using the jars that I buy my spices in. Now, at some point in the future, I might decide to go ahead and get super organized and buy all the matching jars and pour my spices into that. And those are gorgeous. And I love it when I see those with that people have. I've never done that. I just simply use the bottles that they came in and use them in my spice drawer. So that's another hack um, that I think is real important. Um, here's my baking station. So in these cabinets, I've got all my baking supplies. And honestly, if you want to know the truth, that's the cabinet that gets disorganized the most for me. And I really need help in it. So I'm looking forward to organizing that as well. Okay, now let's let's talk about something else. Look at my countertops right now. As you can see, I've got a few things sitting out on my countertops. Um, some of it I don't normally have, but I've just been to the store and these are things I'm about to use. So I just didn't put them up. I'm about to use these things. So you just get to see them sitting on my counter today. But Here's another thing that I'm going to tell you. You know, if you're feeling a little deflated because you think, oh, I just I have too much stuff on my countertops. And you see these people who have the perfect looking countertops and they only have like three things sitting out. And I'll even hear people talk about that. You should only have three things on your countertop or you should only have five things on your countertop. And if you can do that and you like to function that way, that's fine. Great. I mean, wonderful. But... I'll tell you this, for me, that just doesn't really work because I have too many things that I want to grab and be able to use quickly. For instance, that's another thing. I've got my utensils I use 
you know, right here next to the stove. And I want them to sit out. I don't want them in a drawer. So I've got them sitting out. And then let me just give you permission right now. Not that you need my permission. It's your house. Do what you want. But I'm going to give you permission right now. If you like something pretty sitting on your countertop, or if you want more than three or more than five things on it, you do that. Look at this. This tray right here. I love this tray. It makes me happy. And I change it every season. And for just a few dollars, I can pick up a few little things and change it out for whatever season it is. Of course, we've just had 4th of July, and I usually leave these things up till Labor Day, and then I'll change it to fall, and I'll have my little pumpkins, and then I'll have Christmas. And I love doing that. And I want it to sit on my kitchen counter. And does it take up a little space? Yes, but it's in the corner, and it's out of the way, and it just brings me joy. So I'm going to leave it on my countertop. And if that's what you want to do, you do that too. I've got a cutting board sitting out. I leave my mixer out because I use it so often. You may not use your mixer often and you may not want to leave it on your countertop. But that's the way I kind of do my kitchen. I've got a few other things. I'm ready to bake something later today. And so you just got to get to see it kind of the way it is when I work with it. Um, but that's my, that's just kind of my way that I do my kitchen. And so you need to figure out what works for you. You'll get some help with some of these sessions probably about um, more of the the gritty details about organizing. And you can figure out, hey, I think I'd like that. And you know what? After you try it a while, you may decide that doesn't really work for me. I need a different system. But you're going to get some great ideas. And that's what's wonderful about this summit that's coming up is you can see what you think might work for you. You can incorporate what you want to. And then there may be some things that right off the cuff, you'll know that's not going to work for me at the stage of life I'm in right now. But this summit is wonderful because you're going to have so many people helping to give you so many good ideas. And so then you take from it and use what you can in your life and see what helps you to be better organized. So I hope you'll join us for this summit coming up. We're excited about it. I think we've got some really good things coming up. I'm excited about it. Just what it's going to do to help me too. Um, we all need a little help sometimes, and sometimes just the motivation to do it. So anyway, jump on board for the Get Organized HQ and join us today. Remember, click that link and you can sign up too. So if you're new to this channel, I hope you'll think about subscribing. I usually post recipes and we have some great ones that come along the way. So I hope you'll join us and do that too. But thanks for joining me today um, here at Mary Catherine's Table. I hope you'll jump on board with the summit too. And remember, here's my little sign off every time. I hope that you'll find someone who needs some kindness today and give them some of yours.